What's going on plugins welcome back to another video in today's video I'm going to talk about how good Purdue has been so far this season before we get into this video Make sure you drop a like and if you're new here sub to the channel and become a part of the family now Let's get into the video so far during the 2023 2024 season Purdue has been looking like one of the best teams They're currently ranked in the top three and they arguably have the best player in the country in Zach Eady Last season Purdue was ranked number one with a 29 and 6 record They ended up losing to a 16 seed FDU in the first round of the NCAA tournament Most people were saying this was the biggest upset in the history of the NCAA tournament. It was an embarrassing loss, and Zach Eady struggled so much this game that people questioned if he was a good player. FDU was the shortest team in the NCAA tournament. Zach Eady's like 7'4". You would think he would have dominated this game, but that didn't happen. He took a lot of heat for that game, but now this season is looking like him and his team are ready to prove the doubters wrong. It's looking like they're going to have a better record than they did last season. This is their time to silence the haters and go all the way and win the NCAA championship with Zach Eady leading the way. The team is playing at a high level right now, but they do have some questionable losses on the resume this season they only had two l's on the record but they are some really bad losses they lost to northwestern in overtime 92 to 88 they should have never lost to a team like this when purdue lost this game fans and media said they got exposed but to fans who've been watching this team for a few years they're not shocked they lost this game northwestern for some reason has purdue's number when they're in their building they beat purdue last season and this season purdue suffered the same fate purdue's guards didn't play good defense they turned the ball over in key moments and they were terrible from three going five for 19 and that really hurt them but losing a game like that was good for this team and it made them refocus and lock in They recently got their get back and beat Northwestern in another overtime game So this time Northwestern lost on the road This was a tough game for Purdue, but they escaped with a win their second loss of the season came against Nebraska Purdue lost his game 88 to 72 at this time Purdue was ranked number one So this gave Nebraska their first win over AP number one team since 1982 Purdue's three-point shooting was a problem yet again They went 13 for 33 while Nebraska was lighting it up from three going 14 for 23 Three. Nebraska was playing well all game, and when Purdue thought they could close the lead, Nebraska won the run and kept control of the game. Even though they had two embarrassing losses on their resume, they beat a lot of ranked teams this season, such as Tennessee, Gonzaga, Arizona, Illinois, and Marquette. Out of all those games, the most impressive win was against Arizona. At the time of their matchup, Arizona was ranked number one. Purdue won this game 92 to 84. For the first time in school history, Purdue had three players score 22 or more points. Fletcher Laurie went off this game, dropping a Kerr high 27 points. He was lighting it up from three, going five for nine. Braden Smith had 20 points. During this time, he was on fire, having back-to-back 20-point -back games. Zach Eady had 22 points and nine rebounds. He had a solid performance like he does in most games, but his teammates came up big this game. This season, they're ranked in the top 10 in points per game and assists per game, and their defense is solid this season. They're not giving up that many points. Purdue's playing well as a team. It all starts to end with their star player, Zach Eady. He's averaging 23 points per game, which is ranked second in the country. 11.6 rebounds, which is ranked fourth in the country country Purdue arguably has the best player in college basketball on her team and the games where Purdue went against ranked opponents Zach Eady has put out 20 plus points and 10 plus rebounds in every game besides the Arizona game where he only had nine rebounds so for big games this season, he has showed up and showed out for Purdue. Purdue got a solid player in the transfer portal. Lance Jones will be a key piece for them. He's averaging 12.7 points per game, and he's been playing well on both sides of the ball, and he's a fan favorite for Purdue. They needed another score to pair with their two sophomore guards and Fletcher Lawyer and Braden Smith. They both have taken their game to the next level this season. Even though they can be inconsistent at times, they both improved their game so much. Purdue has the talent to win an NCAA championship. They just need to finish conference play strong, and they'll probably get a one or two seed during selection day. If they can be a consistent three-point shooting team, and if Zach Eady keeps dominating games, you never know, they can make a deep run. I don't expect them to suffer the same fate they did last year with a first-round exit. Can Zach Eady lead Purdue to an NCAA championship? How many games do you think Purdue will win this season? Drop your opinions in the comments, drop a like on the video, and sub to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you know when I post. I'm dropping a few videos this weekend. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Till next time.